Hi all, welcome to another video of NS Pharma. Today we will see important multiple choice questions from the pharmacology. Chapter Aminoglycoside Antibiotics. Aminoglycoside Antibiotics. We will see the important multiple choice question from this uh, chapter. Aminoglycoside Antibiotic. We know that Aminoglycoside Antibiotics are classified into two types. Systemic Aminoglycoside and uh, the another one is Topical Aminoglycoside. This is one of the important points regarding this Aminoglycoside. Topical Aminoglycoside examples normally in the examination it will ask which of the following is coming under topical aminoglycoside so we have two type of aminoglycoside systemic aminoglycoside as well as topical aminoglycoside topical aminoglycosides are neomycin and framycetin neomycin and framycetin the others like strepto streptomycin gentamycin canamycin topramycin amikacin sisomycin nettlemycin all are coming under systemic amino glycoside antibiotic so topical amino glycosides are neomycin and framycetin now we will move to the first question of the video amino glycoside antibiotic have the following property common to all members amino glycoside have uh, the following property which is common to all the members of the amino glycoside antibiotics option a they are primarily active against aerobic gram negative bacilli option b they are more active in acidic medium option c they are readily enter cell and are distributed in total body water option d they are nearly complete completely metabolized in liver the correct answer for this question that is the common property for all amino glycoside antibiotic is option a they are primarily active against aerobic gram negative bacilli gram negative bacilli second question which amino glycoside which amino glycoside antibiotic causes more hearing loss than vestibular disturbances has toxic toxic effect which amino glycoside antibiotic causes more hearing loss then vestibular disturbances are toxic effect option a streptomycin option b gentamicin option c canamycin option d sisomycin the correct answer for this question is option c canamycin will cause hearing loss than vestibular disturbances now the third question select the class of antibiotic which act by interfering the bacterial protein synthesis but are bacteria certain they are bactericidal but they will interfere with bacterial protein synthesis that's the mechanism of action of them which is that antibiotic option a tetracycline option b aminoglycoside option c my macrolide option d lingosamide the correct answer for this question is option b aminoglycoside aminoglycosides are the antibiotic which acts by interfering with bacterial protein synthesis but they are bacteria acidal we previously also we discussed one thing tetracycline and chloramphenicol they are also interfere with bacterial protein synthesis but they are bacteriostatic tetracycline and chloramphenicol tetracycline chloramphenicol chloramphenicol they are bacteriostatic bacterio static but here it is uh, amino glycoside are bactericidal now the fourth question bactericidal action of amino glycoside antibiotic is due to what is the reason the cause behind the bactericidal action of amino glycoside option a inhibition of bacterial protein synthesis option b alteration of bacterial cell membrane permeability option c damage to bacterial cell wall option d inhibition of bacterial oxidative metabolism the correct answer for this question is option b it's alteration of bacterial cell membrane permeability alteration of bacterial cell membrane permeability the fifth question of this video streptomycin substrate is not absorbed already because streptomycin sulfate is not absorbed orally because it is degraded by gastrointestinal enzyme destroyed by gastric acid highly ionized 
वाइड रेंज ऑफ पी एच वैल्यू ऑप्शन डी इन सोलिबलिंग वाटर देर रीजन बिहाइंड स्ट्रक्चर माइसिन सल्फेट इज नॉट अब्सोर्ब ऑर्ली बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स हाईली आयोनाइज एट वाइड रेंज ऑफ पी एच वैल्यू दैट्स वाई स्ट्रक्चर माइसिन सल्फेट इज नॉट अब्सोर्ब ऑरली इट इज highly ionized at a wide range of ph value now the sixth question the following is true for gendamycin the following is true for gendamycin options are it is more active in acidic medium option b it is has wide margin of safety option c it is excreted unchanged mainly by glomerular filtration option d it is primarily inhibit gram positive bacteria the question was the following is true about gendamycin the correct answer for this question is it is excreted unchanged mainly by glomerular filtration seventh question of the video concurrent use of amino glycoside antibiotic should be avoided with the following antibiotic the concurrent use of amino glycoside antibiotic should be avoided with the following antibiotic option a ampicillin option b vancomycin option c ciprofloxacin option d rifampicin the concurrent use of amino glycoside antibiotic should be avoided with the following antibiotic the correct answer for this question is vancomycin vancomycin and amino glycoside antibiotic should not should not be used concurrently now the eighth question oral neomycin is beneficial in hepatic coma in hepatic coma neomycin oral neomycin is beneficial in hepatic coma because option a it in hepatic failure patient in hepatic failure patient it is absorbed from the intestine it decreases ammonia production by gut bacteria option c it reacts chemically with ammonia in the gut to prevent the diffusion its diffusion into blood it induces ammonia detoxifying enzymes in the liver options are oh, question is oral neomycin is beneficial in hepatic coma because the correct answer is it decreases ammonia production by gut bacteria it decreases ammonia production by gut bacteria that is the correct answer now we will move to the ninth question of the video neomycin is widely used as a topical antibiotic because we this we already discussed neomycin and framycin are the amino glycoside which is used topically so here the question neomycin is widely used as a topical antibiotic because option a it is active against wide range of bacteria causing superficial infection option b it rarely causes contact sensitization option c it is poorly absorbed from the topical sites of application option d all of the above are correct the correct answer for this question is all of the above are correct neomycin is widely used as a topical antibiotic because it is active against wide range of bacteria it is rarely causes contact sensitization it is poorly absorbed from the topical site of application now we will move to the 10th question prolonged oral therapy with the following antibiotic can damage prolonged oral therapy with the following antibiotic can damage intestinal villi resulting in steatorrhea and loose motion options are ampicillin tetracycline neomycin nystatin the correct answer for this question is neomycin neomycin prolonged oral therapy of neomycin can damage intestinal villi resulting in steatorrhea and loose motion that is the correct answer is neomycin so thank you guys for watching this video hopefully this uh, chapter was a very small you understood this chapter very well you have to study the chapter also
this is just a important multiple choice questions from this chapter so you had to study this chapter using uh, a good test book also so thank you for watching this video hopefully you like this video and if you like please make a thumbs up and also if you didn't subscribe until now my channel please subscribe the channel and also press the bell button so that you will get the notification or you will get the message whenever i upload new videos in the youtube thank you